Bammy and Little Scrappy were married and they shared three kids together. But before that, Little Scrappy dated his baby mother Erica in which they share one child named Imani. Little Scrappy and Erica's breakup was so tumultuous which led to a very messy feud once Little Scrappy started dating Bambi. They just could not get along and it all played out on the reality series Love and Hip Hop. Imani is now 18 years old and she was recently on Instagram Live where people constantly asked her the whereabouts of Bambi and here's what she had to say. Please stop asking on my stepmom. Stop coming on here asking about that lady. Do y'all see me post with her? Do you, do you see me around her? No. So stop asking me about that lady. This led to Bambi posting a picture of herself and captioning it. It's given that lady. So a lot of people instigated the whole situation online. And as you can imagine, Erica was not tolerating any slander surrounding her daughter. So all of this ended up playing out in the comment section of the neighborhood talk. You mean that old lying lady that was in the hot tub with Benzino? Be you too old to be trying to be petty with my child. Imani responded, wasn't even being petty, but like I said, stop asking me about that lady. You ain't gotta explain if you said to that goofy looking girl, Big Charlie Horse from Lamb Chop, sing along, ain't gonna do nothing to you. Bambi fired back, y'all mad I'm embracing that lady, shade or not? People were referring to me as that lady and I'm gonna wear it. Erica, worry about losing your temper on your child because none of your baby daddies are in the home. Today you're gonna wish you kept quiet. You've been fooling the internet for far too long. And yes, I filed for divorce months ago. I'm also in therapy, so I won't be too peace in my kids because I'm pressed about the absent dad. Erica then clapped back, girl, bye. You and Scrap tried the abuse allegations to get my kids taken from me and failed. Shows just how miserable y'all were. I'm not worried about you or anyone else. You so bothered by me and I'm not even moved by you. Remember you're divorcing the same baby daddy I left once I found out you were his side chick? Since you're embracing, embrace you giving head after Benzino, Stevie, then Scrappy to be on Love and Hip Hop. I saved you by not exposing you as Scrappy's side chick. Since you're so worried about my other single baby daddy, I can hook y'all up. He'll one and done you like everyone else. Shall we embrace your other baby daddies as well? Rapper Diamond from Crime Mob, who also previously dated Scrappy, chimed in to shade Bambi when she commented, it's giving horse. However, everyone was hype and anticipating Scrappy's mom, Mama D's reaction to all of this because she was influential in all of his dating matters. She actually chimed in and commented, good evening ladies and gentlemen, whether you like what my granddaughter say, don't ever think and feel you can come for a child. God is going to have the last word on people who do not live in their truth. So staying tuned to her life is not yours. She's living in her truth. Shout out to my oldest granddaughter, Princess Imani. Now that's exclusive. So Bambi continued to respond to Erica in her Instagram story, basically saying that she'll never be nothing to Scrappy but a baby mama and that she put hands on her daughter and that's why Bambi didn't really like Erica's because of that incident. She continued to say, using your grown child for a love and hip hop storyline, it's pathetic. Hang it up. I'm not fighting with y'all. Go fight with your other baby daddy's wife's girl. The end. Bambi then proceeded to share court documents along with the caption, public record. Please stop playing. I love this child and kept my mouth closed, but y'all doing the most. You sent the cops to my house being petty as usual. And then your child wanted to talk to them and tell them this ish on her own. Imani felt that Bambi was coming with the lies and she was not here for it, so she decided to get on Instagram Live to defend herself and her mom. Halfway 100, she posted a paper of when I got in trouble because I was being smart and my mama popped me. That's nothing. Read the whole thing, that is nothing. Second of all, let's tell the truth about how my sister hair was falling out because you wasn't even washing her hair or bathing her properly. Um, you can't even watch all three of your kids by yourself. You need my dad and a nanny to be with you or your mama 24-7. So let's not talk about parenting. And me and my siblings are very well taken care of. And my mama go 100% for all of us. I don't have to stay in a child place. I'm 18. And you're not going to keep speaking or speaking on my part or my mama's part. You cannot love me as a child if you go around making diss tracks about my father or talking about my mama. You don't have no respect. You don't love me. None of that. So cut it out. You don't love nothing. You don't love nothing because if you love me, you want to be online doing all this. This ain't love, sweetie. And I'm going to get you all the way together. Because when I was younger, I couldn't say nothing about it. But don't you ever speak on my mama. And that's on God. You, like, you can...
Okay, tell that old lady go take care of her three kids. She need a nanny. She got a whole nanny. She can't even. You laid down and had three kids, but you can't take care of them. Be for real. And she trying to, she trying to go to court. On it's so much stuff that y'all don't know. So please stop believing anything that that old lady say. She's a liar. She be lying about her age. She been lying about her age for forever. We thinking this lady the same age as my dad. This lady been lying. She only 42, so I don't even understand what she was lying about. My daddy didn't even find out about her real age. So they went to Jamaica in 2021. So let's be for real. Let's talk about all the lies. Like if we gonna put everything on Front Street, let's put it on Front Street. Like stop lying. And I got in trouble and I got popped. You showing something that is so old. That ain't nothing. I'm very well taken care of. My parents do everything to take care of me. What do you do to take care of your kids? You don't you don't even be with your kids. You don't you don't even be with your kids. As things continue to escalate, Erica decides to get on Instagram Live to give her final say on all of this and be done with it. But I'm going live because it it just it's crazy to me how you still on these abuse allegations, Bambi. You and Scrappy tried to have my kids taken from me. Like I said, y'all were some miserable people. You still are miserable. You're so bothered by me, love. And I guess you're just going to continue to be. And, and I get it. If I wasn't me, I'd be bothered by me too. But here's the thing. Anybody can make a police report. I can go do a police report now and say, I seen or seen some shit, you know what I'm saying, on the money. Any, it's a police report. But what you need to post is the paperwork from the whole investigation because I went through everything because I ain't got nothing to hide. My kids are well taken care of. And see, me, love, I can do it with or without a man. That's the difference. So I'm not going to go back and forth with you on social media. I'm not tagging you in no stories or nothing. Like, we just sat down and talked. It got heated. You got up and walked away. So everything that you're saying online, we can meet again. Like, I'm open to it. Let's let's meet again. And you thought it was a good look for you. It makes you look bad. It proves my point that you are one miserable person. Like, you tried to get my kids taken from me and you weren't successful. That's why I'm laughing because you're talking about it like, it, but you weren't successful, hon. It was false allegations. And it, again, it shows how miserable you are. Like, you got kids of your own now. Like, focus on that. On live, going back and forth. E-money. Stay out of it. Yes, you are 18, but stay out of it. Like, don't. Mm -hmm. I get it. I'm her mom. And, you know, I know she was heated. Because, like she said, I never said any of this. Like, and, um... It is what it is. Yes. See, some of y'all so petty, <laughs> making it worse. <laughs> Somehow, she put you money in it. Now, granted, she did. But at the end of the day, I got you money back. So, I'm here to step in. You know what I'm saying? For you money, regardless of her being 18, she's still my child. Point blank, period. And we just don't need that at that because Atlanta's small. So, either way, I'll, I'll be seeing you soon. Yeah. Bambi also stated that this is her last say when she decided to drop a video dragging Scrappy into the situation because within that video, he admitted that he believed Amani's allegations that her mom was putting hands on her wrongfully. This for real finna be my last little go round. Now that's fucked up because we know that, you know what I'm saying, this child is feeling like she gotta pick a side whenever she's with the other person. Is that real yeah, or that's not? not? That's how I feel. I mean, you feel like how, it's real? That's how I feel. I mean, cause that came from, it didn't come from a, a grown kid, it came from a kid. Like, I didn't, I didn't see where she had to make nothing up or stuff like, I'm talking about, I, you know, like, I didn't, I, I, I don't know, I don't, I, I just be hearing stuff. All I, I'm I doing is I'm me. reflecting and me and you had a conversation and I told you, I said, Scrap, I feel like it's very, 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 it's scary for me the way that, you know what I'm saying? Nobody is stepping in saying, okay, money, you got to be careful about what you're saying, right? And, and, and so I always felt like it was your place in certain places to kind of like establish some boundaries. It was never my place to, because I, I, I did my part. I said, I took you money, I said you money. Do you, do you know why? I have a problem with your mom. This is why I have a problem with your mom because of the things that you told me. You told me these things. So that made me 
uncomfortable with, you know, it made me angry towards her. And I was being 100 percent. And, you know, she said, I, I, yeah, I get it. I understand. I said, so you have to be kind of careful. When All right. Yes, guys, I have a nanny and I have a chef. And look, she, she got my food ready to go tonight. So thank you, Leah. I appreciate it.